New information tonight after a Denver police officer uses someone's bicycle to catch a criminal. Now, the chase started downtown, ended at Confluence Park. As Sam Bush shows us, police used a rental bike to catch that suspect. Everyone has seen these bikes. They are super heavy, super hard to miss, and they're not exactly built for a pursuit or even for high speed. But tonight, Denver police are singing their praises. Police knew Jose Delgado would run, and when plainclothes officers saw him, he did just what they expected. He was running, and he was running hard. I mean, he looked desperate. Aaron Mirapol was riding a B-cycle on the Cherry Creek Trail and saw Delgado run through the creek. As I keep riding, there's a guy running in front of me, probably 50 meters up, running across the water. And that's when I realized that's who they're running after. The officers were gassed and losing ground. Mirapol knew he could help. Yeah, I said, take the bike. I said, take the bike. He's like, you sure? I was like, yeah, take it. <laughs> and he got him. Delgado was trapped by the walls of the trail. Officers finally caught up to him on this footbridge in Confluence Park and tackled him before he could jump back into the water. The popular bike program is supposed to help clean up the environment. Now it's even helped clean up the streets. Mirapol says it's a good enough starting point to argue for more of the rental bikes. I feel like, you know, if we had more of those. <laughs> I'm not saying more arrests are made, but it'd be nice to have uh, more of those bike stations. Mirapol was taking that bike so he could go home. This incident, though, happened so quickly that police were able to give it back to him and put it away before he was charged an extra fee for usage. Like tonight in Denver, Stan Bush, CBS 4 News.